So if that last match, if this match is to game three, that'll be good. And that'll be when I upload. So yeah, guys, I'm totally not recording this uh, second match here. Uh, so you guys don't know anything about what's going on. Uh, we're going to commentate this. This is a predictable match. It's just Fire Fist versus, you know, Dragon Roars. The same old thing you see in any old tournament. I've got Dukas here in the studio. We're going to do a little bit of co-commentary. Nothing special. Nothing, nothing special. Uh, we'll, we'll quickly introduce these players. Just quickly, briefly. Um, Seth is a very disrespectful, rude, non-caring, and arrogant player. Uh, Jeff here is a very... Jeff is, Jeff is more or less the polar opposite. Uh, very respectful, very modest, um, short of words. We have our own, we all have kind of our own suspicions for that, as to why, but, um, the general consensus is that he does, you know... There are a couple of drugs in his life that he, he'd rather not have revealed on camera here. Uh, there are a couple of drugs in his life that... Oh, hey, Darnell. Um, Darnell, what do you have to say about uh, both of these players? What what the, does the audience need to know about, about you know, Jeff and Seth here? Uh, as people and as competitors. Jeff's a good guy, you know, to play against. So. He, uh, he watches all his moves that he does, and he loves uh, we were under the impression it was quite the opposite. Oh, well, we I thought mean, he just didn't care because of the drugs. Tell us about the drugs. Hearing this for the first time, drugs. Oh, you weren't aware? Yeah, <laughs> Jeff. Tell him all about your marijuana addictions. Uh, what's it like? How often do you do it every day? And do you feel more released from the rest of the world when you're, you know, taking the marijuana? <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, that's great for someone. Well, Darnell, 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 what do you have to say about Seth? What, what, what do they need to know about him? Uh, he's definitely a cool guy, you know, uh, he plays multiple games, he's definitely he's a good player, he enjoys both, and you know, uh, he just, um, I'm sorry, to, I'm sorry to cut you off, Darnell, I don't know where Darnell's getting his information, but we need to get someone in here who's done a bit more research, uh, we apologize for the misinformation there. I've, I've actually spent countless hours studying Yeah, his Dukas, I think, is a lot more knowledgeable on the matter. Duca seems to know what he's talking about. Actually, um, as Darnell said, he does play multiple games. Um, he doesn't enjoy either one of them. He sees them as an opportunity to, to, be, to embarrass people. To embarrass and right. make people feel bad about themselves. And I think that that you know that that speaks numbers about his. Oh, it seems like Seth's just disrespecting his opponent with a black rose play. But Jeff says no. Plus, he doesn't say no, he just flips the card, but, uh... It's a real fun part. Alright, so, as I was saying, uh, Seth doesn't enjoy either game. He just enjoys embarrassing his opponent, and I think he does that in anything he does. It's, yeah. it's not only... Yeah, it seems like the personality extends beyond Yu-Gi-Oh! The, the arrogance, the greed, it really just kind of shows how possessed and consumed he is with all the dark things in this world, you know? He's going to go as far as... Uh, legitimately paying his opponent to lose so he can look good in front of him. Yeah, Seth, how much is Seth, what's the most you've paid an opponent for a win? Uh, and, you know, when was that occasion? How much did you pay them? $3,000. Oh, you, so you, hear, you, are, you heard it here, guys. Seth pays for victories, so... We caught it on camera. That's almost as bad as stacking. We right. all know we have... Yeah, we all know we've got stack. our stackers here. Such as Aaron. And Aaron. Yeah, there's very little... Now, there he goes, summoning his dragons. I'm not quite sure why he would do that. Yeah, I don't know what kind of deck he's playing, but clearly... It's... I think he's just taking the dragons in the deck, and it's actually something else. I think it may just be a, uh... I think it's an Effect Veiler Maxi Turbo. Yes. With dragons teched yeah. in. I, I... I can agree with that. I... I think that's what it is. Um, now... 
I would also call it Big Sack. Yeah, it's kind of a combination of Big Eye and Drago Sack. So we've come up with sort of the short term Big Sack. Is basically the deck he's playing. Um, Seth calls it Big Sack, maybe for more reasons than one. We're not quite sure. He always uh, grins after he says it, and we're yeah. not quite sure why. Oh, it seems like Jeff's got all the answers here. Uh, he's willing to pay life points to save himself. So, uh, paid a total of 6000 so far. Just yeah, just hours. this turn alone. Well, no, wait, wouldn't that be 5 no. Yeah, just just five, just five thousand. We did two thousand from the warning, and okay. then the, yeah. If he would have done the opposite, he would have So he's left with only three thousand life points. Yeah, so if Seth can, you know, ultimately win. Yeah, if Seth can just push in enough damage. He's stealing the cards, people. Seth just stole Jeff's cards off the table and just put them on his mat. He, he ran his own card. I think he's just disrespecting Jeff. I, I believe that is what I think he's just trying to tease him, uh, get him angry, and Jeff does seem to be getting quite angry. You can see the anger in his face, you know. The, the rage, the sweat, the wrinkles, the fear. Oh, another person that has vast knowledge of Seth is uh, Zach here. Zach, Zach, come here, come here, we need some input. Just, just come here real quick, come on. It seems, don't it be shy, don't Seth, be shy. It seems Seth has actually paid no, no, Zach, Zach, um, hey guys, this is, this is Zach, he knows a lot of information about, you know, Seth here. What does the audience need to know about Seth's hidden personality? Uh, are there any dark secrets that you know maybe might illuminate this match a bit more? So he's a Jew. Explain what you mean by you know. And, just, and presumably keep it for himself after the game. Just keep the opponent's card. Yeah, he's gonna make him reach big eyes. It never says he has to give it back. I, yeah, Big Eye doesn't say that, and so Seth kind of probably assumes that to mean he can just take whatever cards he wants and do whatever he likes with them. Wait, I don't get to keep the cards I take? I don't get to keep the cards I take? He didn't say give it back. <laughs> See guys, as you can see. You know, fifty dollars for a reason. Yeah. Yeah, that's why you pay so much for big eyes. See, is because you get to keep your opponent's card, so it pays for itself. Ultimately, yes. So yeah. Can, you can actually steal big eyes with big eyes, and then steal more and cards with that too. Yeah. I, I, yeah. You just scoop up the game after you take their big eye. You know, use big eye, take their big eye. Use their yeah, use their big eye, take another big eye. Use that big eye, take something else. It's like take a Draco sack. And big then you eyeception. Scoop. And then you, yeah, it's big eyeception, big section. Big sack, big, big sack, except, yeah, big sack. Right. It's like a big sack inside a big sack inside a big sack. I don't know, uh, this is too relevant, but Zach over there, we, we had a, uh, a Spanish teacher, and she liked to call him baby sack. Baby sack? As opposed to big sack. Oh, baby sack. That, I wonder what that meant. Maybe she, she was. was a the teacher was calling it after the card came out. She knew. <laughs> oh, that looks like game one's already Ooh, over somehow. Well, look at that, and guys. Look at Seth shuffling his extra deck into his deck. I think he was trying to stack. Well, That's all. I think what he's trying to say to his opponent is, I'm going to summon these regardless of where they are. Right, yeah. When he draws the black rose, it just hits the field. and It doesn't... I, at this moment, I don't even think anything matters to Jeff anymore. He, 